All right, guys. Sean here. Um, it's Tuesday, so uh, we're gonna do a preval video. Today, I want to focus on um, setting up the preval sprayer for latex house paint. That's probably the most common phone call or emails that we get for tech support is setting up the preval sprayer for uh, different types of paint. The most common one is latex house paint. So we're gonna go through that real quick. Take you step by step, uh, little tips and tricks on how to set it up, and we'll. Uh, Go through that and hopefully under five minutes and uh, get you guys on your way to, to do your next project. Preval sprayer, this is the box it comes in. Let's go over this real quick. Beginning to end, like I said. All right, sprayer, there's a cap for the jar. Jar on, unscrews, you fill the jar up, cap it off, stir it, mix it, whatever you want to do, and then reattach. All right, now that's the standard way of setting up the sprayer with a, a thinner paint. With thicker paint, what you want to do, there's, a, there's an added step in through that whole process, all right? When you unscrew the bottle, on the bottle, bottom of the dip tube, there's a little filter, all right? You want to take that filter off. It just slides on and off, all right? We call it a filter, but what it actually does is for the thinner liquids, it holds the material in the dip tube, so you're not taking the first couple of seconds of spray time to pull it back up, all right? But for the thicker stuff, it restricts the flow. So take that off, all right? And then you fill the jar and um, you spray. Now, we have a mixing guide on the back of our box. Now, keep in mind, this is just a guide. Um, all paints are made differently. Some are thinner, some are thicker. Um, it tends to be the thicker stuff is the high, very high quality stuff. Uh, it's almost like a paint, a paste. So you want to thin that down a little bit more. Um, the lower quality paints is a lot thinner. You could uh, pour it straight out of the, the can and spray. So it kind of depends on the, the type of paint, uh, the quality of the paint, where you're getting it from, the brand. Um, but on the back, like I said, there's a mixing guide. It's just a guide. It's a good place to start, and then you adjust from there. All right, and I'll sh I'm going to show you a little uh, a way that I found to mix the paint <clears throat> and have a better gauge of if it's ready to be sprayed or not. All right, and I call it the trail test. I don't know if you guys can see this really, but let me get my phone's light on here. All right, focus in. All right. So you stir it around a little bit. This is straight out of the can, all right? Stir it around a little bit, pull it out and hold it above the, the surface a couple of inches and move it around. I don't know if you can see that little trail that it's leaving behind, but count the seconds of how long it takes for that trail to go away. If it's more than three or four seconds, it's probably too thick for our sprayer, all right? You're aiming for two to three seconds. If you're above four seconds, it's probably a little bit too thick. So this one's a little bit too thick. All right, it hasn't been uh, hasn't been mixed at all. All right, there's been no additives added to it, no thinning of it. All right, and I do have another cup here that we have added to it, a thinner. And you can see the difference. Okay. All right, stir it around a little bit, hold it up, and you can see that trail goes away a lot quicker. You're at about two two and a half seconds right there. All right, so that's pretty much ready to be sprayed. Make sure you stir it around a little bit so you're not getting sections of uh, thicker and thinner. Just make sure it's stirred up really well. And then go ahead and pour it into the, the preval sprayer. That is the easiest way. That is the easiest way to, to check to see the consistency of this uh, liquid that you're spraying, latex house painting in this case. All right, I do have one set up here. Um, it did come out of that second uh, cup that I showed you, the second mixture. All right. Oh, I want to add this too. So I showed you the guide on the back of the box. All right, and it has a few instructions along the way. If you open the box, there's more instructions on how to set the, the sprayer up. All right, and there's a few different languages, but a lot of people don't know that we have instructions on the inside of it. Kind of like the old time cereal boxes. It has uh, you know, games on the inside, whatever. Ours has the instructions on the inside, all right? One more thing that I wanted to go over, on our sprayer, there is a little vent hole, all right? And that's to let air in as the, uh, the paint is being sprayed out. It's an air exchange, all right? So it, this works by Venturi system, which is a siphon system. As the paint gets sprayed out, the air comes in to replace it, and that 
pull right there is what that's for. That's why we ask you not to tilt it more than 45 degrees. All right, and you don't want to shake it either. All right, if you shake it, it's going to spray out of the, that little bit hole. And those are those are the reasons that we tell you not to shake it or to, to uh, turn it more than a certain degree. All right, so like I said, uh, we have the mixture ready. All right, I'm going to back flush it, prime it. You can hear the bubbles going around inside there and spray. All right, and that's all there is to it. Um, mixing it the right way, doing the trail test, taking the filter off the bottom of the dip tube. Those are the three main tricks that, uh, that you use to spray latex house paint through our sprayers. If you have any questions, um, comment on our comment section. Uh, you can always, as always, uh, email me or Amber. That's Sean, S-H-A-W-N, at Prevail.com, and Amber at A-M, I'm sorry, A-M-B-E-R at Prevail.com. Uh, Till Thursday, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, we'll see you next time.